Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how you can complete the Fire Knight Quillen, I hope I pronounced it right, uh, questline in Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth 3 DLC, which eventually at the end depends on which choice you decided to make, if you give him the Iris of Grace, he will give you the Fire Knight Quillen Ash Summons, or if you give him the Iris of uh, Occultation, like I did here, you're gonna receive the Quillen's Great Sword. So we're gonna start with the location uh, when it first appears. All right, so in the west part of the map. And uh, you can spawn, this is the closest one. We're gonna show you from Belarus Tower Settlement, right? And then uh, we're gonna see from Small Private Altar, and then we're gonna go northeast towards this location. All right, so we're gonna start at Belarus uh, Tower Settlement, and you're gonna see me passing through the second site of grace. So you can see me passing through the second uh, site of grace as well. So we go through this little alley, straight on. Turn right here, then left. Then we're gonna turn left here. At the top, you see the site of grace. You're gonna see it in a moment here. This is the other one. And we're gonna continue, well. Well, I need to deal with him. All right, then you're gonna outside. And then we're gonna turn right. You see this roof? Just pass this uh, area and then we're gonna get to this area. This is where the first invasion will take place. I'm gonna show the moment that I actually got to where it happened. So you can see I'm there. And now you can see that I'm getting invaded because this is the first time I actually visited the place. So fighting fire choir, a fire knight Quillen. I don't know how to pronounce it. Quillen. Anyway, you need to defeat him, and you can see he drops the prayer room key. All right, another item, but the prayer room key is an important one for the quest. Now we're going to go to the second place uh, where he's at, which I already fought him by the way before. I didn't know it's part of the quest, but I'm going to show you the location. So we're going to go to Church of the Crusade, spawning at Iwood Cross, Site of Grace. All right, just uh, mark it on the map and go there. You can actually see it here. And uh, I don't have a recording for that when they actually uh, invaded, but basically when you get inside, get more towards the end part of the, of the church, uh, it will invade you. So make sure to defeat him. All right, so. Just head on to, towards the end and uh, eliminate him. Something around this uh, fire area, it will be here. Now before we move on, if you already have both the Iris of Grace and Iris of uh, Occultation, fine, you can continue. If not, let's get them. First, Iris of Grace. Go to Storehouse, first floor, spawn there. Now in the Specimen Storehouse, uh, we're going to continue uh, until we get uh, to the location. After that, take the elevator down. Now, all right, so after we got down, just keep in mind I already cleared the area, so they're gonna be um, enemies, so just watch out. Nonetheless, I'm gonna show you straight away how to get once we get down the elevator. I'm gonna turn right here. Right. Again, it's clear all enemies, just pay attention, and if you go here to the end, you're going to find it right here. I already took it, but it's going to be right here. So this is going to be Iris of Grace. Pick it up. Alright, next one, we're going to get Iris of Occultation. For that, we're going to go to Fort of Reprimand.
All right, so spawn at this site of grace. So when you spawn at this site of grace, you're gonna see a hole in the ground. All right, so just jump down and then enter this uh, underground area. All right, keep in mind there's a big enemy. You're gonna see it here as well. So just watch out. It's gonna come from your left side until the arc. All right, so just be prepared. I even forgot about it, so just defeat him. And after that, you're gonna find the Iris of Occultation right here where I'm actually at. I already took it, but it's gonna be here. After you defeat him, uh, we're gonna move on towards the last place. Yeah, it's not a long quest, it's pretty short. Uh, and we're gonna go to Shadow Keep. All right, so we need to go to this particular one, Church uh, District Entrance. And basically you need to go through here. I'm gonna show you how to gather, by the way, if you are here, by the way, you can spawn and go up to here. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how to get this from Body Village in a moment. But the different site of grace on the way that you can actually just choose if you unlock them already, or just go straight ahead where I showed you. But I'm gonna show you from Bonnie Village how to get there. All right, so let's spawn at Bonnie Village and go throughout all the way up here again you could just mark it on the map and just go there it's pretty straightforward we need to pass the the bridge in in bonnie village second bridge this is another site of grass on the right we're just going to move on First with this hole where the, this giant is. Continue on the road. You're gonna see it in front of you in a moment after this turn. So this is a castle. I'm just gonna go inside the gate to our the site of grace. The, the basically the one we are starting from within Shadow Keep. All right, from that point on, I'm going to show you how to get to the prayer room so you can actually use the key to find uh, the fire nut there. If you want to be enemy at the top of the roof of the upcoming roof, just make sure to, well, uh, if you are well, fine. If not, put some protection, something. Then we're going to jump into that part. There's going to be a hole in the roof and uh, an arc. We're going to jump into it and then you can just go straight up. But I'm going quickly here left. And this is the prayer room. Use the key to open it. Now I'm going to show you the moment that we're actually gather myself. So just switch a bit. So the moment I actually got it is going to be there. So this is the moment where I got it. I use the prayer room key to get inside. Now, before you interact with him, just make a choice which item you want. Let me show you what you can get for each one. If you choose to give Iris of Grace, you're going to get the Fire Knight Quillin. This is a summon. And if you choose to give the Iris of Occultation, you're going to get the Quillin's Great Sword. This is a piercing sword. This is a heavy thrusting sword, as you can see. So it's up to you to decide with your first uh, playthrough if you're going to plan to do just one, make a decision. I personally chosen uh, the weapon, I'm more excited uh, with weapons more than summons, but in my second one, definitely gonna take the other. So make a choice before you approach him. All right, because once we interact with him, we can close by the way, but make a decision. You can see you can choose Iris of Grace or Iris of Occultation. I chose Iris of Occultation. You're gonna see that I got the weapon in a moment. Would 
not. Am I not pure? Defiery, I would never. I ask, why wouldst thou think to purloin from me? Deemest thou not to look upon me? Uh, all this time, I held in my heart only thee. The item would be on the ground, as you can see, because of my choice, I got the weapon. And that's it for this quest. I hope you find this one useful. Give a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. And I can put more time and effort into making really great guides for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.